Welcome back to Let's Play Project Zero Maiden of Blackwater. Man, don't get a lot of logos for this game, do you? <laughs> Just freaking the. Yep, it did not will next order and room black reopens. There's always a bunch of different logos. This is like, ah, uh, Koei Tecmo. That's all you need to know. No other companies attached to this. So, I uploaded the previous part last night, and, uh... Uh... What can I remember from it? I had it play in the background, like I say, when I upload, I have a video play in the background at some point. Just so, like, it can, you know, refresh my memory a bit that I don't have it in and shit like that. So we're on the fifth drop. So we play as Ren, so we were left on a cliffhanger, and I guess the cliffhanger is going to continue because we're not going to find out what happened properly until the next chapter. From the writings, he found that Ichiro Manor, Red Lins of the folklorists who lived on Mount Akami. Ren sets out to the unfathomable forest to see if the rumors of a disappearing house are true. I mean, this is like the fifth chapter, when he calls it Drop It, to get the idea. And, you know, it, it, it is feeling a bit repetitive at this point, you know. I had the previous one didn't feel quite as much, because we got to explore the Shrine of Dolls. Hopefully there's more varied locations on this map. Because we sure are going to be going to that map. Going to a new location on the mountain. In the course of their investigation, Ren and Rui learn of Keiji Watarai, a folklorist who settled on Mount Akami. His writings are certain to be a treasure trove of information about the mountain and its peculiar folklore. Ren and Rui happen across a videotape that may just indicate the way to Watarai's residence. Yui took her own life and Rui attempted suicide. The ghost of Shrine Maiden appeared on both occasions. Yuri spoke of a black box that she found a rick trap. Now speaking of which You know, as I've mentioned before, sometimes I'm unsure if I've got the spelling for our character's name right, so I'll just like, you know, copy and paste it Google just to make sure that's the right name. Sometimes, usually I just like backtrack to a previous part in this Let's Play, for example, in that, just to see where their names listed. But I did that for for Yui, right? And there's two results that immediately come up. One is her, you know, uh, build frame, Project Zero, whatever, and all that wiki fandom page. And below that is an old fandom page called Yuripedia, or something like that, which. I'm going to guess it's probably dedicated to, you know, lesbian characters. So, guess she, uh, guess she was, uh, I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe they were in a relationship. I way it goes, it just made me think that one scene where Yuri introduces herself. I <laughs> just put the head if I know that, I know, it probably would have been like, it's like, my name's Yuri. It's just like, I'm Yuri. And he's just like, she replies, I'm into that. It's like, no, it's my name. It's not not what you're thinking there. I don't know. It's stupid. Does the key to all these events lie in the man's dark past? A folklorist, KG Waterai, used to live there. His notes may shed some light on this mystery. The video tape Rui found is on the desk. It seems to be related to that folklorist. I should take a look at it. Should I now? I guess I should. Hmm, because you're not interacting. There we go. Video tape and some notes on the desk. They seem related to Mount Akami. What time period is this taking place? Is this like more modern day, but we still got this, you know, old ass technology? I 
remember seeing this house here before. Uh, anyone in? I'm going in. Doesn't look like anyone's lived here for a while. No shit. Whoa. Part of the floor is missing. A phone. Oh. Let's just move on, shall we? Take your time. I've got to go upstairs. I'm on the second floor now. I mean, this is the pace this game goes at honestly when you're walking around. So I guess it is realistic to the game. Hey, the ghost. Must be have it looking for a really tiny screen to not notice that. Huh? Oh, I think I heard something. Wow, that's a lot of bucks. Huh. Frilling. Yeah. Thrilling observations here. This is like my commentary, but slower. <laughs> no, it's not quite like that. Oh, sometimes it does feel like it goes down to I was like, here are. Uh, well, I don't really describe the environment. I mean, there's been no points. It's like it's right there. It's like there's a ladder here. Hmm. Perhaps I should climb up. Well, you know what she says it. <laughs> Could you speak a little louder, voice actors? It's not enough to pick up on the uh, audio to sync up the audio. It's always a bit too quiet. It's the attic. Wow, who'd have thought there'd be an attic? <laughs> that was not worth the build up, man. <laughs> it's a report written in Ruby's handwriting. I'm a commentary on the video. You know, I've, I think I've said this before about Japanese language. But I find it interesting, you know, because, you know, yeah, English, yes, you know, everyone has their own handwriting. You don't really think other languages that, you know, use, like, different characters and stuff, how their handwriting could look. Be like, could be messy, you know. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, with, if Japanese. I mean, if you have terrible handwriting in Japanese, that's going to be pretty damn bad, because they're really distinct characters, man. I, and, you know, is there a rabbit that has the kind of, like, line and little kind of squiggle things? I mean, I don't really understand that. How, how does that work? You know, I don't get it. But I, it's just like, what would bad handwriting of that look like? What would bad... I mean... <laughs> Can you imagine that, like, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs? Someone's just like, okay, now let's check your handwriting. Yeah, this is a bit terrible. What's this supposed to be? You, I mean, for God's sake, you suck at art. You can't even write. Anyways. I found that the old inn mentioned a folklorist who lived on Mount Kami. I have found more information on him, including his name in books on the occult.
This folk glorious KG went awry went to the mountain due to his obsession with the mysteries of the sect living there. He then went missing. Mentioned in the diary then rumors about what happened to him abound. Wait, what? He then went missing, as mentioned in the diary, and rumors about what happened to him about oh, yeah. They say that he didn't just die or go missing, but rather he stumbled on something that the mountain wanted kept hidden, and so his entire house was swallowed up by the mists. This is the origin of one of Mount Akame's more recent stories of haunted house. While the veracity of this is unclear, how I look into a videotape left behind by someone who stumbled across the house. The video is apparently famous in occult circles. Is titled Long Boring Ghost Hunting Video That Ends in a Jump Scare. I contacted the publisher and received the following response Dear Rui Kagamiya, thank you for contacting us. The video you are looking for is no longer in print. <laughs> this is just make me a moment to think. I'm like, what time period is this? It's like, oh, it's no longer in print. I mean, I don't know. It feels like this is kind of modernist setting. Surely, you'd be like, oh yeah, it's famous around, you know, the occult and all that. It's got a lot of views on YouTube, you know. It was uploaded years ago. What's what makes you think is like out of print? How? This is it not on the internet? Or is this before the internet kicked off? What the hell time period are we in here? There are some copies in our warehouse. This video prompted a huge amount of feedback from customers. I mean, really, what time period are we looking at here? I don't get it. I never really thought about that. And considering Miku, the protagonist of the first game, has had a child and is, like... I, it's probably, you know, like, uh, what's her face, Lou, you know, whatever, Inazaki. The character we played as in the prologue. Looks, you know, late teens, early adults, early 20s, probably like 19 nuts. Oldest, I don't know. Point is, that would, you know, mean that it's been that much time since. The third game, at least. And, you know, the third game seemed relatively modernish. I don't know what time periods these games are taking place in. I've never really given them much thought. Anyways, uh, feedback from customers who didn't post it online, apparently, because I had so much trouble to find it. It was found near a river on Mount Okami. It is unknown who filmed this. There were many sections too damaged by water to be usable, and so we took what was left and edited it together. The most copy of this video was confiscated by the police. Is that why it's not on the internet then? It's like, no, we're taking this seriously. <laughs> You'd think they'd be like, nah, this is probably just a freaking hoax video or some shit. Don't need to look into it. They conducted a search of the mountain, but were unable to find who shot the film, or even the house's location. Now that entering the unfathomable uh, the forest is prohibited, we advise you not to look into this on your own. Koji Kagimoto, Sujensha, Phelan, Division. Probably pronounced that wrong. I believe the building visible at the start of the video is the Shrine Dolls. After that, we see what seems to be a cave, but it is hard to make anything out. From the large number of books seen in the house, it's likely that it really is the former home of KG Matarai. Phone? Phone? Ren speaking. Ren. Kazuya. Mishima. I tried to get in touch with you. I was worried. Oh, wait. 
It's that guy that was... Listen, about what I said to you before. In Ahsoka's reports. I'm getting married. What? You are? Yeah. That's... Wow. Um, congratulations. Uh, I guess. And who's the lucky bride? Anyone I know. Everyone sounds so dead inside. Ever it's a ghost. I saw her picture. Will you die with me? I'm not gonna immediately leave after that, right? I didn't pick up what was in the room. Okay, good. Oh, uh, maybe it will. Uh, the Veiled House. The Shrine Doors into a cave. This may be the same re How do you it took. I should stop by going there. But don't go there right now. I've got to look at things. Oh, it's ironic. That the uh, living characters sound more dead than the ghosts do. The ghosts sound more lively. The voices are just like, oh, congratulations. So happy for you. You're getting married. Who's the lucky bride? Is she dead like us? Because, you know, we're all dead inside. What am I looking at? Right? Oh, this. Look like notes of Ruiz. Maybe. What? These look like notes of Ruiz. Maybe she dropped them. I wonder if it's okay to read this. She. I mean, I could. I. I. What is? I keep forgetting. What the, actually, I got a dictionary. What is that word? God, this part's gonna be take forever <laughs> just to freaking get to the start of it. Androgynous. Partly male and partly female, so basically, you know, person, you know, at a, at a glance, he's looking at me like, not sure. <laughs> but I thought it was a guy for a while. But I was like, but it could be a woman. Now that's referring to, But you know, next thing you know, it might be referring to as, as a guy. I don't know. Mr. Hojo often cries out in his sleep. He won't tell me much, but it seems like he has a reoccurring dream about a ceremony for his childhood. You know... That decreases the cast of male characters, if that's the case. Because, you know... All you got left is that Kazuya guy who you just talked to, and... Ren, everyone else... Female. Anyways, he won't tell me much, but it seems like he has very good dreams about a ceremony from his childhood. So the young boy, Mr. Hoja, said he spent a summer with relatives at the base of Mount Kairoi. Kairoi? He's mentioned playing in an old house and in a shrine in the, on the mountain and some kind of festival he went to. So he doesn't talk about his past much, so what he has told me I remember clearly. Ah, uh, is he dreaming of the ceremony? That ceremony. I met the festival as a child, but all I remember is having a good time. Doesn't sound like the festival Mr. Hojo dreams about is any fun. He often cries, don't look at me, in his sleep. He always had a hard time with people staring at him. He especially dislikes it when women look at him for too long. You know, as someone with social anxiety, like real bad social anxiety, I get that, you know. It's like, people, like, just mind their own business, they're not looking at you, they're not staring into your soul. But you feel very self-conscious in a public place. You feel like, they're all staring at me. They're all staring into my soul. 
maybe not that extreme, but you know, you feel very, I feel very self-conscious like that. You won't even look Miss Kurosawa or Miss Kurosawa in the eye sometimes. Doesn't have that issue with me though. Are the women he's women he's dreaming about really that frightening? You know, I get that as well. I'm bad with eye contacts. Or you know, you ever just you know stand in there doing nothing in a area where there's people, and you just kind of like just zoned out a bit, just spacing out. You're lost in your own thoughts, and you're thinking. I hope I'm not staring randomly at someone while doing this, like, they'd be like, why is that person staring at me? No, he's not staring at anyone, man. He's lost in his own mind. He's just thinking, just like, I don't even know how to give an example on that. <laughs> just be like, just lost in your own thoughts. I, it's like always when like, you know, just kind of like in a waiting room, for example, if you're in a waiting room and there's someone across from you, you deliberately, you know, try to look elsewhere, the ground, maybe a poster on the wall or something, you know, you're not really focusing on anything in particular. You're just like kind of thinking, you're just like, this is taking freaking ages. I mean, how come every time you have to get an appointment, it's like, okay. We book you in for this time, and then 20 minutes freaking pass. Well, not quite that bad, but it does happen. You know, the appointment's at this time, but, you know, that's never how it is. There's always a bit of a delay. Kind of like when you, you know, I haven't gone on a plane in over a decade, but, you know, that happens as well. You'd be at the airports. And that's another annoying thing. We're the airports as well. I know, I know I'm kind of going on a ramp here. But, you know, you got to be there at a certain time. You gotta check in. If you don't, to in a certain specific time, it's like, sorry, man, you can't go. It's like, plane isn't even here yet, but <laughs> you still can't go through it. You get through it in the waiting with thing like that, and it takes forever. Then you're like, your flight has been delayed. And blah, blah, blah. I remember one time when I got on a plane, and, you know, they were getting ready to start, the plane started moving, and then just kind of, like, stopped. Abruptly, and then someone came on. I was like, "Oh God, it's, this is it, isn't it? This is the big one." And when we were finally in the air, I just like, "I got, I got to drink something, man. Got to distract my mind because you know, when when some whatever like that happens, you know, it's gonna freaking be in your mind. It's like, oh no, is something wrong with the engine or some shit? Oh no, no. Luckily, nothing happens. But my God, it was the most nervous I've felt on a plane since." about the first time I did. It's not that bad, you know. As long as you don't think about it. Maybe I'll also find out some more about the place that goes more than four. Mr. Sakaki, he was helping you look for post-mortem photographs, wasn't he? He went missing. I'm just glad to know he's still alive. <laughs> I feel like Ren now. Look, look, he's just, he's just staring. Just impolite, man. <laughs> it's just like, I'm just like, so... Are you a guy or a woman? Ugh. All I can think from that is, is it a... I think you might have a female voice actor. I think so. Not that I really confirms anything, really. Where are we? Hmm, how welcoming. Okay, we got three paths, but only one path I can take, presumably. Uh, what were the controls again? <laughs> it's been eight like days after all. Ugh. 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 That reminds me, I've been. I started playing Persona 5 for the first time. My god, look at his wrists. You break your wrist to hold them like that. But, yeah. I know, get on with the game, let's, you know, move on a little bit. 
I should check out the Shrine Dolls and get Kanko that way. Anyways, I've been playing Persona 5 for the first time, PS3 version. It's alright so far, it's uh... I mean... I still think Persona sort of 3 and 4 are better, but maybe it gets... better as it goes on, I guess. I've currently, uh... close to the second proper, uh... case that you can get. I mean, who can really call it case? You know, the proper bit of the story, you know? Be the first, first villain of the week onto the second proper villain of the week. It's like just approaching that point of the game, so not very far in the game, but my god, it feels like a long in the game. But, anyways, the whole point of bringing that up is this. This animation reminds me as you know, walking around as a protagonist doing this more or less kind of motion, just walking back and forth, and it looked like he was mowing the lawn. It was weird. And a completely pointless tangent. Candle songs are lined up around the shrine. Maybe the shrine used doors in its ceremonies. They look like they've been out here for quite some time, exposed to the elements. Go so small vacantly. So I guess we're going back here again. Frilling stuff. Is that the door that was sealed? It's her. Don't talk to me. I'm not supposed to talk to the living. Well, what was last chapter then, eh? <gasps> Unless... A man at last. What? You are a man. I'm a girl. Oh. Liar. Oh? I, I am. I see. In that case, let us play. This is an effigy of you. No. I'll make you into an effigy. Damn eyes, man. Took it this long to realize Rui's gone. Really? Not very observant. These damn brats. Wait, is this what we're doing now? That scene fairly confused me. <laughs> so, is Rui a girl or a boy? Or is it a boy identifying as a girl? I am confused now. <laughs> what was that? Rui, where did you go? I'm playing hide and seek again. 
So I guess raise the bride and rent the room in this case. Number of dolls are lined up on the illuminated doll stand. And if you check over here, you will see this is where we went last time. Upstairs, leading underground below the doll display. I might be able to reach this womb cavern through there. First, I have to find Rue. What if Rue is taken down there? We can't let our assistant die so quickly. We need them to occasionally sprout dialogue. Is there anybody there? the exit uh, yes. how do we uh, what's the map button <coughs> so I guess we go this way then. or we could go down yeah if it's anything like last time I mean, we didn't get a clue on that though But you know, it makes sense for it to be down there, though. Because, I mean, it would have had to have taken Rui past us. Down in the water again. Looking for my um, brightness assistants. Mirror stone. Bit cramped in here. Good thing these things shine. But come on, do I have to approach it from the opposite side? Are you serious? Do you not know how to use arms? Type zero again, nice. That was you splashing that, right? Shrine of Dolls 2, where's Shrine of Dolls 1? Or did I get that in the previous chapter in this discrete animation? <coughs> Little children are playing. Sometimes I'll wake up at night, feeling their presence. The following morning, dolls that I know I've put away have moved someplace else. The more this happens, nor clearly I hear the sounds of play. And often I have dreams where I am there among the uh, children playing with them. I can't make out the children clearly, but I think my late daughter is one of them. Last night it felt like I was being watched. I went to find a white-haired girl staring at me. She said, don't worry, your daughter is playing with the doll you fixed. After that she disappeared. Those eyes, it's like she could see everything. She even seemed to answer the very question that was on my mind. That's very, uh, the eyes really stand out. And, you know, the hair as well. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Is there gonna be a thing where, like, 
because there's the one that's always like, uh, will you die for me? That seems like the main antagonist. I wonder who the uh, younger ones. Is it a younger form, or is it a different ghost entirely? Maybe it's not even an evil ghost. Where am I going? Yeah, you'd go around here, I think. They have to be confusing. Fly me off here. Metal stars being placed on shelves that have sunk in the water. This must be a story in Mecca Falls. Really? Am I heading the right way? How many doors lying on a pile on the shelf? It looks like they've been arranged by size. I don't trust you. There doesn't really seem to be anything around. Where the freaking hell is Louie? Over where? Little bastard, you can't be like over here and make it less obvious. You behind here? Little bastard. At least that kind of indicates that uh, something is in this general direction. There's no more Creepy. You're gonna have to fight them in the yard again. The old garden. Could have come here from the other way around. Okay. I don't like this. But you don't like that little area there. Hello. There's room behind the shelves with all. Maybe there's one inside. I mean, wasn't I just in that room? Uh, what? Whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. Camera angles. I can see a large soul through a crack in the door. Yeah, that's why I was trying to point the camera, but then you turned around for some reason. Whoa! God damn it, I freaking. What? Oh, it's R2, okay. Again! Eight days since the previous record session. 
I forget basic shit. Pick it up. Shrine of Dolls 4, where it was free. Or was the pre. Ah, I, I, I'm not even giving a track. Today's dream was stifling. It was night, and several men carrying burning flames spent a long time exploring the area underneath the main shrine. They carried a huge relic. I remember the. because <laughs> it was in the previous part as well. Well, I remember googling the word. It is like a kind of religious kind of box of sorts. What's the pronunciation on it? And what's the definition in this new dictionary? Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a word that kind of. Uh, Probably is going to be a reoccurring thing with this game. Repetitious. Much like my rambling. Uh, what was it again? There it is. Relic quarry. A container for holy relics. It was probably what appeared in that uh, video where whoever was filming was like, hey, look at that box. It's like it's not a box. It's not any old box, it's a relic quarry. Do you know that word? The white haired girl was sleeping inside the box. She was waiting for someone, but it wasn't me. Didn't have what she wanted. At least I felt like it. I'm feeling so incredibly sad when I woke up. Dolls, dolls, dolls. There are do oh, many dolls lined up on the shelves. It seems to be dolls being offered up for cats. You know what? I wonder. Is he gonna meet that ghost? He, he'll certainly be in for a surprise. He'll be like, wait a minute. You're the girl from the dream. There's something back there. Where? Medicine. Yeah, we can't go that way. Which way did I come in from? Accessories through the cave. Wait, the villains is accessible through the cave. Okay, then let's try to pass. Yeah, but you gotta find Rui first, right? I mean, I've looked all around. It's not up in the trees, is it? Are they? Doesn't seem to be anything around. Unless, maybe. It's because we gotta go. Nope, stop that. Stop. Around this way. Oh, 
Or is this the way we came in anyway? This door. This map is not very helpful, if you ask me. I'm getting turned around here, aren't I? Yep, pretty much. Son of a bitch, I am so lost. I wouldn't get lost in such... Well, it's a big building. It's not too complicated. Wait a minute, what was that? How come you can't go past there? You crawl. You know, what if I have passed Rui many times and just not noticed? Well, I didn't check this way, did I? I am so bloody lost. Rui! Play where? And it's all fun and games to you, but I kind of need to know where you are. Maybe it is in here and I just got an engine. Oh. What am I looking at? Oh, do you have any style dress in the glasses? What am I looking for? Oh, it's one of these, okay. Why didn't you say? God damn it, press the wrong button anyway. Ah. Uh. Wasn't quite what I was expecting to happen. Do I have to travel far and wide for all your hiding spots or something? So bloody loss. I'm nearly fifty minutes in. Where to go? Why is this so hard to do? That's yeah, good. I've stopped. Wrong button. God damn. That'll do for this part. Go to the next part immediately after. I have a feeling I might not even be able to clear this chapter in this record session. Because how long it's taken me just to get through the base part of it. But, anyways, I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.